Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little afraid for today's video, and that's because of my history with mystery boxes. A couple of months ago, I bought a $20 eBay mystery art box. I started editing the video, I did the intro, started the thumbnail, and when I went to unbox it, this happened. What the f is this? I got scammed. <laughs> very badly. So what does a person do who got scammed one time before off eBay? They buy another one that's three times the price. With shipping, this art supply mystery box was a little under 60 bucks. Now I have absolutely zero idea of what is inside this little box. And even more mysteriously, the listing really didn't give any information of what even could be inside of this box. All it said is one mystery boxes of art supplies, surprise items, condition is new, no returns or refunds. And in all cap locks, the items are sold as is. Enjoy. Doesn't sound very promising, does it? Regardless of whatever's inside, we'll test it out, see if it's new or if it's been used, give my opinions on it. And if it does turn out to be a mega flop, at least I'll get to make some art out of it, you know? But yeah, I am equally nervous as I am excited to unbox this. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. That's all. That's all I'm gonna open it because if I open it anymore, I'll see what's inside and I don't want to just yet. All right, so before I just jump right into the box, I wanna go over my hopes, dreams, and concerns for this box. My first hope for this box is that I get at least three to five different art supplies. I hope it's not just like two art supplies and that's it, you know? I hope that I at least get some kind of like little variety of art supplies. My next hope for this box is I hope the quality of the art supplies is at least mid-tier. I'm all about Walmart, I love cheap art supplies, but for $60, I hope I at least get something that's like middle grade like at least Prismacolor level. My next hope for this box, I hope that I'm at least somewhat familiar with it so I don't embarrass myself. And my last hope for this box is I hope I don't get ripped off. <laughs> I'm gonna move that one to the top because that's literally all I want is please, please don't get ripped off, Ray, not again. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got. It's kind of hard. Oh, they wrapped it up really nicely, kind of like a present. Going the extra mile alone like this was worth 60 bucks. <laughs> Moment of truth. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, yes. It's a Copic marker in the color blue violet. Well, technically it's a Copic sketch marker, meaning that it has a brush nib. It also has a chisel nib. Right off the bat, it seems to be completely brand new. It doesn't look like it has any damages. And these retail for, I wanna say anywhere from like six to $8 here in the United States. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful color. It's kind of like a perfect, beautiful, deep color. Now I'm happy I got a Copic because these are pretty much like the Gucci of all markers. I, even if everything else in this box is bad, at least I got like one really good thing, which is this Copic right here. I'm actually really surprised because it feels like there is a lot of stuff in here. What the heck? Oh, it's a face mask. Oh. Okay. Oddly enough, the next thing is a face mask. Like, it's a little weird. Okay, it's I, it's very considerate. It's very considerate, but it's a little weird. It's a little strange to put this in like an art supply mystery box. It's not like I won't use this face mask, you know? Oh dude, my makeup already got all over this. <laughs> that took like 0 0.2 seconds. But yeah, face mask. That's so nice of them. Very considerate, very nice. The next thing. Oh, this is cute, the little clouds. What is this? What is this? This is the type of ink for a stamp and it's cool. I like the color, but um, I don't own a stamp. Now that I'm looking at it through the monitor, it's a really pretty color. Wow. I'm just gonna like press it on. Wow. Oh, that's bad. Let me press one more time, except this time a little bit harder. I'll spread it around a little bit so you can see the color. Oh wow, this stuff is like really, really pigmented. Look at that. According to Amazon, whenever you do the math, this retails for a little over $4. Moving on to the next thing. 
Oh, okay, nice. A paint palette. There are very few art supplies that I am literally in constant need of, but a paint palette is always it. I am always buying new palettes, cleaning out my old ones, accidentally ruining these. I mean, you name it, I am always needing a paint palette. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a cheap one from like the dollar store. In fact, I get this exact palette at Dollar Tree, six for $1, so yeah. Next item is a canvas. Nice, okay, cool. So this is a six by four canvas board. I'm personally not the biggest fan of canvas. I don't know how well this is gonna work with the stamp and I definitely don't think it's gonna work with the Copic marker. So hopefully inside this box, we get some kind of paint. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's like a little love note. OMG, I think this is a coloring page. I don't understand. I thought this was kind of like a note or something from like the seller. So I got too excited and kind of like ripped it open and now it has a giant chunk missing out of it. Okay, I'm guessing that they got some kind of a toy and this came with the toy and they put it in the box. Let me look that up, color blocks, color, color blinks. I sound like my dad. He used to call Pokemon, Pokeman. Okay, yeah, color blinks is a toy by Rose Arts. I really like how they're keeping me on my toes this whole entire time. I have no idea what's gonna be next. What is this? It feels like a block. It's just like a pure square. Oh, it's a stamp. They gave a stamp with my stamper. Okay, cool. I don't know the exact brand of this stamp, but based on my local craft store and how much their stamps go, I would say that this maybe retails for about two to four dollars. Do 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 do. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is? Oh, oh, is this tape? Oh. It's tape, it's washi tape. Washi tape is really nice for stationery. You can put it on a piece of paper, rip it off, and it won't tear the paper underneath. And more importantly, it, it's cute. Look at those bunny ears. I can't find the exact retail price, but I would say maybe about $1. All right, so moving on to the next thing we have. Sharpies, I think. I think these are Sharpies. So we got three permanent markers. And if you look closely, it says color blinks, which was from that coloring page earlier, which turned out to be a toy. So I bet the actual color blink keychain is gonna be inside this. So I don't know if these are permanent markers. Oh yeah, these are definitely permanent. <laughs> we got three permanent markers in red, blue, and lastly, green. Not too sure the retail value of this just yet. I need to find out if they put the actual keychain that goes with these inside of this. So until then, it's just kind of a mystery. Let's see what's next. I think this might be the color block thing. Moment of truth. Bam, there it is. So from what I've gathered, this is basically a little like keychain thing that you designed with the three Sharpies that it gave you. According to Google, you can get this for about $44. Now, according to Google and Amazon, you can get one of these color block things for anywhere from like $5 to $7. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and say that this is worth $7. Looks like we only have like four things left. Um, I am so glad that this came with this because I've been needing one of these. So this is a white Uniball gel pen. I've talked about these countless times and these are actually very nice white gel pens. They work beautifully for highlights, for drawings. If you're an illustrator, if you do realism, these things are very, very, very universal. So I am so happy that I was able to find a white gel pen. And the retail value of this is actually pretty cheap. $4 for a three pack. And if you break it down, it comes down to $1.30 per jelly roll. Um, <laughs> it came with some candy, some crack ups, pop and dip candy. So at this point, the box is empty, except for like these four things, which by the way, so far, there's like way more stuff than I expected inside of this little box. I honestly thought there was gonna be like, maybe like three Copic markers and that was it, you know? Next up, we got this little cupcake dude. This is Spectrum Noir marker. Oh no. This is an artist series alcohol-based ink. Personally, I've never heard of this brand, but I'm willing to give it a shot. 
Oh yeah, that's nice. That's some very good stuff right there. Mm. I cannot find this for the life of me. I'm assuming they got this at the craft store in a pack and usually craft stores mark up their stuff. So I'm gonna give this maybe like $2.50 per individual marker. And by the way, this is a bullet nib. So far, I actually really like the individually wrapped ones because they all seem to be like bangers. So hopefully this one is too. Uh, oh, oh, we got a Micron. Oh, heck yeah. So this is a Micron fine liner pen. It's really good for illustration, fine details, which I have like the world's shakiest hand. So I'm not very good at fine lining, but yeah, I really enjoy Microns. I think they're very nice. Oh, and this is a super thin one. This one seems like it's a little dried out, like it's having a hard time writing. So that could be a problem when I'm using this for the artwork. Oh yeah, definitely. This one definitely has been used. You can tell by the cap, like the cap is definitely beat up and the inside also looks kind of beat up too. So this one definitely looks like it might've been used. According to Google, if you were to buy this in a pack and divide it by just the one pen, it would total $1.60 per micron. Okay, so this one, I don't know. I saw a glimpse of it, whatever it is, it's pink. Oh, so this is interesting. This is not a regular Sharpie. This is a poster paint Sharpie. It's water-based instead of oil-based. And yeah, huh. I've never seen a Sharpie in the form of poster paint before. That's, I have so many questions. Oh, oh she is vibrant. She is bright. She is not playing. With the studio lights and on the screen, it's like coming off like neon bright pink. Wow. This is so pretty. It's gonna add a very, very interesting element to whatever I create. It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. According to the Walmart app, these are kind of expensive, coming in at $3.70 per individual marker, which compared to a regular Sharpie, that's actually kind of expensive. Um, and this brings us to the very last item. I hope it's another Copic, honestly, but let's see. Oh, ta-da. This is actually another art supply that I've never seen before by this brand, Elmer's Glue, like the glue people. This is apparently like their version of a Posca pen. It's a bright red paint marker. It's oil-based, unlike the other one, which was water-based. I don't know why, but this looks very nostalgic. Like even though it's brand new, it literally looks like it's straight out from the 90s. I don't know, it's just giving me like vintage vibes. So let's open this one up. So we might have a problem. There's no tip. I don't know what else to do besides like go out and get a new nib or see if maybe there's something inside of this that we can like dip a brush in, you know? I don't even know if you can open this. Yeah, okay, never mind. That is absolutely not gonna work. It's all one piece. So I guess I'm gonna go to the craft store, get a nib and we'll see if I can somehow make this work. So this was just the cheapest one I could find. As you can see, it has not been activated yet. It's completely brand new and I'm just gonna pull it out. Place it in. <gasps> it's working. That was suspiciously easy. I can't believe that worked. So far, the color selection has been very interesting to say the least. See, the problem is I have all these textures that basically don't mix together whatsoever. So in order to make them all look similar, my plan is to completely melt them down. So now that it's dry, I'm going to do this side. This side is going to be a little bit more tricky because I'm basically going to be melting Sharpies with alcohol. So we'll see how this goes.
low-key, I'm freaking out because that worked out so incredibly well. Hopefully everything else works out as well as that did. Specifically, me and my shaky hands arch nemesis fine lining. Oh, this is so nerve wracking having to like fine line with a pen. Oh, gotta mentally prepare myself. Ah, okay, here we go. I'm just gonna do it. I feel like this is the weirdest angle I have ever done in my life. <laughs> Unbelievably, with all those textures, colors, markers, random assortment of everything you can think of, I was able to create something that I am very happy with. Here's what it looks like. One last hair flip, just let me do it in slow-mo, it's my only chance. Oh yeah, okay. Do I think buying a random mystery art box off eBay for $60 is worth it? Probably not. Maybe I should try a third time. I always feel so awkward when I say this, but if you haven't subscribed with notifications, please bleh, be sure to do- See, I'm getting uncomfortable because I, I feel so awkward saying that. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.